Hi there. Good morning. Um, straightforward to the point. What I'm gonna show you today is uh, I want to replace my um, condenser motor, uh, condenser motor, condenser fans motor for my uh, Honda Stream RN6. I just find out the problem yesterday so this will probably uh, this probably is not probably this is the second time second time I replaced the motor um, the first time I replaced the motor was it's like uh, maybe five five years ago okay but uh, the motor that I used that time is uh, a used motor um, I bought from uh, second hand uh, we call it second hand uh, shop so uh, yesterday I bought the the new parts from Denso you can see it on the screen uh, I show you on the screen that is the the new motor uh, maybe uh, the model a little bit different the the numbers but i think it's still the same uh, not a big issue so uh, what happened yesterday was uh, i i i have the same i had the same problem few years ago um, uh, what happened is when i okay so what happened is when i turn on the car place the air condition button here I found out that the cooling was a little bit slow okay um, then I go and check inside the engine bay and I find out that the one of the fan is not working uh, there are two fan on the engine bay for one for the radiator and one is for the air condition air condition condenser so uh, I will start the car and we go and look I haven't replaced the motor and uh, hopefully I can demonstrate to you show to you uh, what had happened okay now I start the car Uh, the engine is running and I press this auto button yeah. so I set it to 24 degree now yeah the, the blower is on all right so let's go and check the fan motor Okay, so you can see clearly that this motor is not running. So while the radiator motor, the motor fan is running. So now uh, the cooling for the condenser is not enough. That causes the cooling inside the cabin very slow. So uh, you can see if I uh, tickle the motor, tickle the fan, it will start moving. And this is not normal. It used to be running now. One, two, three. Okay. Yeah. It's running. Stop this and I will replace the motor. Okay, so uh, you can see the problem clearly just now. The one of the fan is not working. That is the fan that we replace. I not I did not replace the fan. I just replaced the motor, the DC motor. 
what is the problem with the DC motor uh, from previous experience uh, when I uh, take out the old motor I found out the carbon brush is gone worn out so I think it's normal for this motor and uh, it's time to change all right so for those of you who have the same problem I think you should change it in order to make sure that your in, in order to save your radiator motor now we have two fans two motors so if one of the motor is dead one of the motor means I mean uh, the radiator motor will working very hard okay to do the cooling only half of the condenser the other half is uh, like it's hot it wait for the wind wait for the air to go through the fins the condenser fins when you drive okay so when you drive uh, probably the car will shake the fan will on just what i uh, i show you just now i tickle the you no know, the i push a bit the fan blade and the motor start running um it's not good uh it's not very strong uh, the fan is turning but it's not strong enough so if you face the same problem please uh go and replace the fan either you do it by uh, DIY like what I will show you later on or go to the nearby workshop on your uh, near you all right so okay so now I will uh, replace the faulty motor come it's very easy it's not taking a long time okay so this is the basic tool for the replacement work i don't have the impact driver on that photo anyway i will show it later on all right so this is the engine bay for this job i will record the timing so that uh, after this we i can show you how long it takes for me to replace uh, motor all right so 10 mm to remove the bolt okay the mounting bolt 10 mm use the socket or spanner next the power connector the electrical power connector uh, for this job I did not uh, disconnect the battery uh, it's not that critical so we can do it slowly so the good thing is about Honda stream RN6 is uh, the bracket for this condenser fan easily access yeah you can uh, access the uh, mounting easier easily so now I will show you how to take it out it is very easy just pull it simply like that okay there are two hole to mount the bracket down there so this is the fan bracket okay I need to uh, take out the three screws and another screw for the capacitor uh, this is the motor cover can use uh, Philip screwdriver but it is very hard it's like a, the screw has been glued there uh, so I decided to use the cordless drill with impact press it hard on the unit and finally I can take the screw out loosen the screw take it out screw number one already out next screw number 
itu oke okay, yang itu and then group number 3 oke okay. so uh, take out the cover motor cover now you can access the motor okay you can see the wires the cable to the motor uh, right next the screw for the screw that mount the uh, capacitor, capacitor loosen the screw and next the clips the cable clips cable clips the electrical connector okay so you need to press the pin and push it out uh, this is the second time I do this job but uh, yeah it was a few years ago so uh, of course I need to remember everything again Alright, so for this uh, task, I need to use impact driver. If you don't have this unit at home, so it will be a little bit difficult for your DIY works. Knock the impact driver uh, gently using the hammer so that you can loosen the screw easily. Okay, please don't knock it too hard else you will damage the casing to mount the motor later of course I, I, I avoid to use impact driver uh, because uh, I don't want to damage the new motor okay so first screw second screw and the third screw so for this video, I decide not to uh, to fast forward. Okay, I show you every uh, step that I take. Now the fan is out. Right, you can see the motor. This is the old motor. You can see the dust. Okay, that is the carbon brush dust this condition show that the motor that's why the motor not working properly because uh, i think the of course the carbon brush already out so next step next impact driver to uh, finally remove the motor mounting Okay, remove the motor from the casing. Be careful not to knock too hard, else you will damage the casing. Alright, so two screw and the final screw, Phillips screw. And there you go. Okay, the motor sit down properly on the table on my rotating table okay all you need with new unit okay pesita have, have the same value or and new Right, it's time to uh, mount the new motor on the uh, bracket. So for this works, for this job, for this task, you need to what we do is we just reverse the process, yeah. But uh, if you can remember the position of the motor like uh, what I did now do now 
you need to uh, you can always uh, stop the video and tune back backward and look at the motor position especially the label eh? uh, okay the label of the motor label on the motor so that you can identify the position of the motor on this bracket so that uh, the cable uh, way the cable way okay is uh, neatly sit on the casing yeah right three screw in uh, tighten the screw using uh, ordinary Phillips screwdriver first before uh, before I use the quadrus drill with minimal impact to tighten the screw for this I uh, I decide not to use the impact driver because uh, this is new motor I I afraid the impact probably or might be damage the motor if I use impact on the unit so for the oil unit it is okay because after all you will scrap it all right so uh, contrast drill with minimal impact to tighten the screw next the fan Okay, just reverse the process make sure you get the right screw for that group your screw your location okay we do DIY else you will miss your screw going somewhere else and you will have a big problem okay uh, replacing a screw on rotating object like fan make sure you use the same screw different screw will cause vibration yeah will cause imbalance okay when the fan rotate on high speed what vibration will occur and that is not good for the motor all right so make sure you keep the screw properly and uh, mount the screw again on the same location okay impact quadrus drill with minimal impact all right there you go fan on bracket So this is the motor cover. Reverse the process. So while watching this, uh, for you, for you who just uh, jump in to watch my video consider press the subscribe button down there okay subscribe to my channel all right so this screw down and the last screw is for the capacitor yeah a screw for the capacitor right the electrical connector in
Okay, so for the cable, the previous motor they mount the cable using clip, but uh, for this new parts, it's not provided with clips, so I decide to use uh, cable ties. Okay, you just uh, find a new cable ties to uh, tie the cable. Alright, so that's it. So actually the motor replacement complete. Uh, within uh, how long is that? 23 minutes. 23 minutes. So that 23 minutes including time that I taken to move here and there. So uh, actually if I have the right tool anytime we can uh, do it shorter than this all right so check all screw on the right position tighten and uh, yeah look down there there are two holes for the fan bracket At the same time, you can check your uh, condenser, make sure it is clean. If you want to take your time to clean the condenser, this is the right time. Yeah, you can uh, use uh, water to spray your condenser or chemical if you want to. Okay, mount the unit. Yeah, remember the bolt there are two bolts 10 mm bolt that we uh, that i take just now okay it's not too hard make sure because the bolt mounting is made of pvc else you will break the radiator that is not a good news Alright, <clears throat> so finally the electrical connector. Okay. So I show you that I did not take off the battery, uh, disconnect the battery for this job because it's not that critical. So uh, all in all, it takes about 20, 26 minutes. Yeah, 26 minutes to complete this job. Okay, so uh, it takes about 26 minutes. That was uh, including uh, I go and take uh, extra tools. I use impact driver uh, because, uh, you know, I cannot hit that. I cannot use a torch to, to hit the, the screw. Uh, so uh, I need to use the impact driver so if you decide to use that impact driver at home uh, for your DIY make sure you uh, execute the process properly uh, I don't want you to uh, damage the casing or the new motor right um, so uh, I'm inside the car, so I will start the car and uh, we see the result, okay? So I will turn on and off the conditioner and uh, we will look at it, the result. So I turn on my AC, okay? So previously, before we replace the motor, the, the fan motor is not working. But uh, now, supposed to be when I press the auto button, okay, the, the motor is on. Come, let's go and see. Yes, it is on and it is very strong 
and uh, you can do it uh, multiple time on and off the AC to check um, that the motor really works after replacement. Okay, so that's it. Uh, I finally replaced my motor for condenser yeah motor condenser motor fans so um, it's take about 26 minutes and uh, for those of you who just drop by to see my video uh, I have a free video about the Honda stream RN6 you can uh, explore my channel uh, please uh, press subscribe so as long as uh, I still own this car on the stream RN6. Uh, I will try to produce uh, DIY video, uh, especially for easy works that use minimal tools. So, alright, see you again next time. If you have any question, you can type it down there. And uh, good luck for your DIY. Ciao.